Today, I'll be going over some things I wish I knew my first time playing. We've got a lot to go over, so let's get right into it. Pretty sick cutscenes, huh? All right, here you go. You start off way up here. This is going to be your main city, Gostiva. Gostiva. Not sure how it's pronounced, but that's your main city there. And your first quest you're going to pick up there. When you start off, you pretty much just run down there and see what's up. The sprint, press and hold on the left stick when you're playing on Xbox. The green bar there is your stamina bar. Gostovia. Gostovia. I'll learn how to pronounce it eventually. You get a certain amount of sprint, which is the green stamina bar. You share that with all, all different sorts of actions. All right, and you run down and you got to talk to this dude first thing. There he is. Walking around for some reason. First things first, you got to talk to this guy. One thing that's important to know is you do need to do a, a few quests to build up reputation within the town so that you can recruit people to move into your city. So chapter one, a new beginning, you want, you need to get 10 sticks and two stones, and that's so that you can build an ax. Just a, a simple stone ax, but it's very important. You use it a lot. You know, you just pick up some sticks. You want to get some of these flowers. One thing that's good to know, the daisies and some of the other dandelions and uh, one of the other plants are good for replenishing your health. So you want to stock up on this and so that if you're out hunting or something happens and you get injured, you just eat some of those and you're able to heal yourself. All right, so you want to get 10 sticks and two stone. Sticks you can usually get from these small trees or laying on the ground. I like doing the small trees if I can because you get multiple sticks. And then we got two stones here. So now we can build a stone axe so that we can cut down trees to build bigger things. All right, we need a wooden hammer and some straw. On our way, we're going to pick up some straw down here. You're also going to want to keep in mind where you're going to place your first city. Take your axe. After you cut the tree, you want to back away so it doesn't fall on you. I've had a tree fall on me once. This is some abandoned stuff. Lost shipment. You want to pick up that coin. Coin is very important. I'll show you guys how to how to build up some coin. Okay. You want to build a wooden hammer. And you want to build a house. So the important part of building your first house is location. You want to find an area that's flat that has some trees nearby. And if you go just east of the city here, I like starting off here just because it's near the water, which you need to run over there to drink water before you build the well and it's flat area you have some clay and you have a lot of trees nearby to help build out your city and then up on the hill and more forest over there you can do some hunting so this is actually a really good location really close to the city and you can run back to the vendors and sell some things back so to build your first house right bumper you go to buildings and you go to houses simple small house it's not a bad idea to start off by but building two of these because you're going to want to recruit people. So I would say two, if you can build two of these and a hunting lodge, that's a good start. So what we want to do is equip. You want to go to your inventory and equip your wooden hammer, put it on slot two. And there we go. Slot two. You need stone first. So stone, you can find pretty much anywhere. I have better luck going near the water and just kind of making my way up, up the coast. And you'll eventually run into an area on an Xbox controller. Hold down the A button when you're gathering and you can just kind of move around and it'll pick up the stuff you need. You do get bogged down by the weight when you carry too much stuff. Early on in the game, you can actually you can actually go to this town here. Uh, Britannica. Branica. <laughs> you can go to this town here and you can buy a backpack, which is pretty helpful with the skills. So you level these up pretty quickly. I like to start off by doing the first slot where you get more experience. Gaining experience more quickly lets you level up your other things. Berries are great for a lot of reasons. You can sell them, they don't weigh a lot. And eventually, if you carry them, if they're ripe, you're able to get food and water from them. But if they're not, you can hold them in your bag and eventually turn them into fertilizer. You're gonna need sticks, stones, and logs. That's the beginning part of the game. You're gonna need a lot of all of these. 
And fortunately, all these materials are pretty much everywhere. You just got to spend time gathering. One thing I do like to do for at least for recording purposes, but you can you can do it just to make things easier on yourself. I do fast crafting and fast building. There you go. One hit and it completes that portion of it. New building unlock a well. Wells are great. Don't need it quite yet, but it is definitely something you want to build at some point. All right. First house complete. This is where you're going to live. You get a little fireplace to cook your meat. You get a little two-person double bed for when you find a special lady. And the third bed is or if you have a family. So this game only allows men and women to share a house and they can have one kid. That's how it works. So when you recruit people into your town, you just need to remember that you can invite one man and one woman to share the house. That is one thing I wish I knew. When I started the game, I started, I was trying to get everyone to live with everyone and I was so confused. You have one man, one woman live in a house and they end up getting married at some point, and that makes the town happy. So that's something to look forward to down the road. All right, so Rabbit Trap. You want to set it really close to your town. It's under Furniture and Decorations, Traps, Rabbit. You just need the sticks, and you just set it somewhere you're going to be able to easily find it. So you want it somewhere like, somewhere like this. And you build it, automatically set it, and you come back you know, a couple times a day, once or twice a day. Get your get your meat and you get some fur as well. All right, so you gotta make a, a spear for hunting. We definitely need some food. So we have some food. Let's see what we got. We st You start off with an apple and some dried meat, but you gotta do some hunting. Next thing you wanna do, you wanna build a spear, a knife, and do a little hunting. So for the knife, just make one for now. And for the spear, you need a log. Just need one log. I recommend building three spears though. I'm going to show you guys how to hunt with a spear. I'm I'm pretty pro at it at this point. All right. So with hunting, hit the Y button here. You build three. You have three logs. You build three spears. You got to equip your spear. Button slot three and uh, A. And your spear's out. But to put it away, hit the Y button. Hit the Y button again. To aim, left trigger. And that's to throw it. But with your... You, you can throw the two spears if you have three but keep your last one so that you can kind of stab with it because you don't want to be completely unarmed. I heard you can hear the animals directionally. All right, you don't want to hunt birds. You can catch those. You want to find, we'll be able to find a deer or something. There we go. All right, so the key is to get as close as you can without chasing them off. Aim, aim a little high because there's some drop on these. And then chase them down. You only have so much stamina, so you want to keep keep on them. You don't want to lose them. I don't need to sleep yet. Yeah, you definitely don't want to lose the deer. Yeah, eventually it kind of slows down. Oh, there's another deer. You actually want to hit him a second time if you can. Slow down, man. Okay. Nope. All right, this isn't going well. This deer's got a lot of energy. Okay, you want to... Ah, missed him. Can we get him again? No. <laughs> Slow down, deer. All right, you got him a second shot. They get slower as you hit them more. But I only have one spear left, so you don't want to waste it. You want to chase them down and kind of kind of hit them with it if you can. Hit them again. And they slow down more. All right, you need to get your stamina back. But the more you hit them, the slower they get. And then you kind of... And then you can punch him. <laughs> you punch him down. There you go. That's how you hunt. <laughs> early game. That's some early game hunting. You need to head back. You gotta go talk to Dob. All right. So we did catch a rabbit already. You want to rearm your trap. And now we got food. We got water. We gotta go talk to that dude. The first goal is to survive for a season. And that's three days. We're almost done with day one. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the first quest. 
you want to save quite a bit. You want to save quite a bit. The game is a little buggy. Uh, I found if the game freezes, you can actually back out and go back in and hit resume, and that fixes a lot of time, but there's definitely some bugginess. Through a couple quests. Welcome. All right, when it gets to be nighttime, you can actually light a torch, and that helps a little bit to kind of see where you're at. But you pretty much just want to head to bed and wait for the next day. New day, you want to talk to Unia Ghost. Uni Ghost? Unia Ghost? I don't know, man. So these guys all got weird names. All right, the next quest is to talk to Sambor. I don't know if I want to do it yet. All right, we're going to do it. We want to get these first few quests out of the way. All right, you want to watch out for the wolf. Stay away from wolves until you get a bow and arrow. And even then, probably stay away from wolves. Okay, dig up clay. Get some clay for this guy. So after you get the clay, you give him the clay. Any leftover, just drop it. It's way too heavy. It's not worth it. Yeah, go this way and head back and deliver the knuckle sandal. Yeah. Stay away from the wolf. Do some more gathering. You want to get these daisies and dandelions. Just stock up on these so you don't have to worry about them for a long time. And it allows you to build a hunting lodge. All right, beat some bad meat. You want to use some St. John's wort. And that'll, uh, that'll cure you. How can I help you? Whatever you need, I've got it. You want a bucket of water? While you're here, you might as well get that bucket of water. But you also need firewood. Okay, here we go. Alright, second building you want to build is... A hunting lodge all right second building is hunting lodge the first thing you want to do dry out your meat so any meat you've gotten from hunting or gathering you can dry it out here so it lasts longer all right third building that you want to build is another house just a small simple house there we go put it there and this is where your workers are going to live. So you want to build a house so they can live there and they're going to work at the hunting lodge and gather, gather meat for you. All right, so you got your house built. It can house two people. And if they have a kid, it's going to sleep right there on their little cot. So we're getting close to being able to invite someone to live with us in the town, but we're not quite there yet. So you need food, you need water, and you need firewood. So you need to build a well. You don't have to. You can keep buying buckets of water, but it's good to have a well, and you're going to need a woodshed. So once you have a well and a woodshed, then you can start inviting people to move into your town. Go over here with it. Okay, now we have our woodshed. We can make firewood here. Firewood is very important to keeping your people happy. Keeps them warm. So, we're getting close. We're getting close. We got a house. We got a job for them. Here's their house. They're gonna be hunters. We're gonna hire two hunters. We still need a well, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go see if we can do some recruiting. We're gonna try and do some recruiting here. You walk up to the Have people sitting on the benches here, and uh, these are the people who will generally join your you. town. Let's see. Yep, we got one. You want one lady? I always like treating you. And you want one dude. Hopefully they get married. It will make the town happy. And uh, you got two workers. There you go. That's why I do the, the first couple quests right away. You can see up in the top left corner that you got two for... What that means is you have two... 
people in your town who have no home, no food, no water, and no wood. So you got to make sure they have all of that. So first thing you do, you give them a house. Simple, small house. You assign a tenant one and two. You can't do the third slot because it that is reserved for either a kid or something like that. So you also need to give them food, which we don't have a lot of. Give them all our food, give them firewood. Where's our water? We've bought a water bucket. They need water as well. There we go. Now you can see everything went away in the top left corner there. And uh, you gotta give them a job. You gotta give them something to do. And first things first, we need, so they do need a knife. So we gotta put a knife in the little crate there. I need the skinning knife, stone knife, three of them. Give them three knives. And now we can send them out to get food. So assignments, right bumper, they need food. So you go, I usually go about half meat and then uh, do some dried meat shortly after. You know, like 50, 25 at start. We'll go, we'll go 70, 25. And uh, you also got to assign a worker, which they're assigned, no resource. All right, they're both assigned here. They should be able to start hunting right away. Let's check. All right, so they're working on the meat. They'll bring in about 30 meat per day if you put it up at 70%, which is enough to feed the whole town. So yeah, we'll start there. They have a little meat in their uh, in their house, but for now, all the food coming in is going to have to go to them. So let's uh let's check our trap. There we go. We got a we got a rabbit. Let's uh let's put that fresh meat in here. One meat. That's enough for them to create a uh, dried meat. Yeah, that's that's kind of how you start your town. I mean, they're they're working. They're working. Now you got, now you just sit back and reap all the benefits. Nah, th this is kind of how you start out, but uh, you still need a well because we're going to have to fill up that one bucket that we have. We've got one bucket. So we're going to build ourselves a well. Extraction. Well. All right, there we go. Now we got a well, we got water. We have food with the hunting lodge and we've got our woodshed for firewood. So now we have pretty much a self-sustaining town. So this is a good base for getting your town started. After that, I like to go around picking up rocks and sticks because next you need money. You need money big time. So pick up rocks, sticks, gather, whatever you gotta do and start building knives build knives like crazy uh for the rest of the day before you go into the new season so you can you can sell them so yeah i, I would call this kind of phase one for getting your your town started 